Tom Grow provides a programmable growth medium that can be customized for specific crops and plants, enabling plants to access water and nutrients on demand, combating the wastefulness and environmental impact of traditional growing. Tom Grow's mentor has been Heather Sanford, and uh, pitching today will be Rodem Bracken, and he will later be joined for Q&A by Nimrod Vizel. Please welcome Tom Grow to the stage. All right. Good job. Perfect. Okay, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Ro New York, for having us. This is a great opportunity. Thank you for that. My name is Rotem Brakin. I'm the CEO of Tom Grove. I'm going to show you how we are going to connect nature and humanity. Let's roll the ball. Throughout human history, soil has been the foundation of life. It provided us with health, well-being, and of course, food. In many ways, from field crops, seeds, propagations, everybody used those kind of soil substrates. Propagation, plugs, growth medium, hydroponics, and many more. But the world is changing. Everybody in that room understand that. The world population in 30 years from now will be above 10 billion people. Urbanization is expanding the amount of concrete on that planet is huge. It's the right time to invest in that industry. Soil resources, because of that, are diminished, meaning that we need to think different. We need a new infrastructure, something that will be deep in terms of technology, but simple when it comes to a solution. Therefore, Tom Gro proud to present Medium X, the first programmable soil in the world programmable, so what we can program, interesting. From acidity levels to salinity that we control, and of course the water paste that we release to the crops we are growing. Physical aspects, such as cubes, beads that we are using, the hardness of those shapes and the flexibility that we provide. Of course, nutrients that are embedded inside, NPK, micro, macro elements, everything is embedded. And the most, and not, maybe the most interesting one is the oxygens that we can play and change based on the crop we are trying to uh, grow. So what is it? Basically, it's a 3D net that can hold everything the plants need to thrive. We're talking about 99% of water and nutrients and everything the plants need. Think about it. When you have that kind of technology in your hands, the possibilities are endless meaning that we can grow anything we want, anywhere, in any weather. That brings us to a focused plan. We need to be focused. What we chose to do is time to market because market teaches you. Market size, sorry, market size because we are looking for the biggest impact possible. And of course, simplicity, as I already mentioned. Therefore, indoor urban plant. What you see here is a very simple planter. Everybody knows planters, but the technology behind it is crazily deep. There is no soil inside, meaning that we need to water the plants only once a year. You heard me right, once a year, not every week, not on an hourly basis. There is no soil inside, and the fact that we don't need to touch it saves 70% of our operational costs. Nutrients are embedded and we are not guessing, meaning that we are baked by platform data and sensors that are located inside those planters. We know exactly when to water those plants and how much water we need to add. But stop the presentation for a second. Zoom out. You see that, that small technology, this cool cube? It gives us the ability to take, for example, Central Park, 25,000 trees, hundreds of thousands of plants and put them back inside our houses in places that millions, millions and millions of people are entering every day, such as hospitals, airports, hotels, offices, nursery homes, and many more. We can live not beside plants, with plants, autonomously. Today it will be ornamental plants, but tomorrow it will be tomatoes. 
This is a huge industry. $80 billion industry only in North America. We calculated a plan of $320 million for the next four years. And again, we are not guessing. It's based by a bottom-up model of system we already deployed it back home in Israel. Those companies that you see here are our, our, our current paid customers. You see global names such as Waldo Fastoria, JLL, CBRE, NVIDIA. Each and every one of them took hundreds of systems to their sites. Let's deep dive into some figures, what we achieved so far. So we are in the market um, from the end of April. NVIDIA is the first customer that we have. 2,000 systems deployed, it. $12 a system a month average fee with a flexible business model of pass, plant as a service or one-time fee. And with revenues over $1 million. The green signature is not less interesting, meaning that we save 70% of operational costs, 65% of water saving. And the most interesting, the fact that we don't use any substrates, no pit moss inside, saves 1.9 gigaton of CO2 that belongs to nature and to us. See it yourself, NVIDIA, Herod's, Cyber Reason. You're probably wondering how, we, how the hell we are bringing those planters to the customers. I mean, we are not a service provider, not a gardener, and of course not a farmer. So, simple, market teaches you. What we did back home is to partner with the biggest nursery in the region. They know how to scout for plants, manufacturing manufacture our medium mix, and of course assembly the product and then distribute it to the end customers, to the commercialized places. Four weeks ago when we traveled in a business trip here in the region, we met Dickman, Dickman Farms, Sweet Farms, and more. We talked to them about the opportunities that our business holds, and the conversation will continue right after that event. It's not end here. From a growth engine to a food standard, we know how to grow food. We can provide it anywhere. Those crops you see here are already tested and proved. From growing those crops to propagation and seeding. Look yourself, in greenhouses, tomatoes, three months to fruit, only one time watering. You see the plants grow without anything, without touching at all. Propagation, you see the shapes, cannabis, pumpkin. Roots stitching, this is how we call it. What you see, the symbiosis between the medium mix and the roots and how it's developed inside. Mint, blueberries, and more. It's not all. We can act also as a carrier, meaning that we can put spores inside. Earlier, I heard the conversation about it on the fireside chat. It was interesting. Pesticide, fertilization on demand. For example, huge industry, $190 billion, the 50% goes to waste. Artificial fertilization is responsible on 4% of greenhouse gas emission. Meaning that on that industry as well, we can be in a position of a huge, huge impact. This is a picture of some of our experiment as well. So what we are going to do with the million dollars, that interesting, the pie from the left, you can see that everything goes to execution, more than 80% on co cost of goods, operation, and sales and marketing. On the plan from the right, you can see that in the third year, we are going to generate almost $20 million only on that region. In terms of headcount, the impact will be 18 people on the first year, again, on the operational side. The same infrastructure that we use for phase one will serve us in phase two. The team, my co-founders, people with a lot of experience, all together with more than 100 years of experience. Yes, nine exits and three IPOs. All of them in the agriculture sector. We have the experience on that as well. We are Tongro. Thank you very much.